If you find yourself doing a lot of solo training, you might want to invest in a pair of wireless headphones. Stay tuned for my review of the Blue Buds X by Jaybird. Blue Buds X are Jaybird's flagship wireless headphones. They've been out for a couple of years now, but this is the first time they've been offered in a camouflage color. As you might have guessed from the name, the Blue Buds use Bluetooth technology. And because of that, they can pair with pretty much any smart device or music player on the market right now. The sound quality in the Blue Buds is really good. They're comparable to the sound quality that I've experienced in any kind of wired headphones I've used in the last little while. Because these connect your smartphone, they can double as a headset. There is a small microphone here on the cable. When you get your Blue Buds, they come in this great packaging which includes a carrying case which will fit both the earbuds as well as a charging cable to keep anything from getting lost or tangled. There's also a set of instructions which walks you through all the features of the headphones as well as a baggie containing all the different ear tips and wings and we'll get into that in a second. Now in addition to the soft rubber ear pieces that came with the headset, you can get what's called the Comply Foam Tips, which they shipped me to try out as well. There are two different sets here. There's one that's more just for music and all day listening, and there's another type that's called Sports. And one of the most important things with these is to get the fit right. When you get them out of the package, the first thing you'll want to do is take all the different sizes of earbuds, there's a small, medium, and large, and you'll want to play with them a bit and to figure out which one fits your ear best. In my testing, I found that having them behind your neck and coming up from the bottom, it's good if you want to actually use them for a headset with your phone, but I find the cord bounces a bit more. So for that reason, when I'm out running, I prefer having them over the ear and shorten the cord. That way it stays really snug and won't bounce around at all. Getting that fit right is the key to having these stay in your ear and give you good quality sound. The controls are actually quite simple on this. There's only three buttons. There's one for playing and pausing and muting if you're on a headset. And you've also got the two buttons for up and down. And that takes your volume up and down or track forward, track backward. Charging the headphones is easy to do. You just pop the cap off the back of one of your earbuds and then you plug the included charger cable into it and then plug that into a USB port. As you can see, the charging cable is sort of a flat ribbon cable. And while it's great because it won't tangle, it does mean you'll need a USB port close to where you want to have the device in order to charge it up. The battery life on the Blue Buds is rated 8 hours. I took them to the office and used them for an entire day. After 7 hours and 48 minutes, I got a warning that the battery was low. And then it kept playing for another 25 minutes. In my month of testing, I've used these in a whole range of different conditions. I actually used them while I was chipping wood for a 5 hour stretch with no problems. I also had them out on some long runs, as well as just sitting at the office and listening to them. In my testing, I've gone out on trails as well as a lot of road, and although I felt like it might come out, it never actually did. I would know that the design of these, because they're an in-ear earbud, is that they are noise isolating. You will not hear a lot of road noise when you're out using these, so use caution if you're using these around traffic around a lot of uh, runners or cyclists on a path, for example. In addition, because it is in your ear, if you've ever plugged your ears and crunched on something, you'll know that you get what I call a bit of head noise. You'll have that same phenomenon with these in your ears and it'll take you a little bit of time to get used to it, but it's to be expected with an in-ear type of headphone. Well, that does it for my review of the Blue Buds X. For more information on these and all the products, head to jbirdsport.com.